I'm going to do some random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you don't know how to play Mahjong yet, there's a link below the video to a lesson playlist. Hong Kong style is the best one to learn because it's the easiest of all Mahjong, in my opinion, because of the scoring. There's a link below the video to a quick reference that has all the different scoring elements in it. So download that and then watch these random pulls so you can follow along. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round, starting with East. We'll roll the dice just to randomize which seat we're in. I rolled a 10. 10 would be South. So we're going to be in South seat. As a non-dealer, we get 13 tiles. Okay, so this mimics a drawn hand. You always want to replace your flowers that are numbered one through four. If you get your own seat, you get a, a point for that. In this case, we have a three flower. That won't bring us any score, but we do get a replacement tile. I think what I would try for here is probably I would throw the, these three away first because this is a potential chow, but I would try to get all dots. If you get one suit, for example, all dots, that would be called a flush. That is six points or six fawn. So I think I would try four dots, but I'd hold this as long as possible because we could do all chow, all chow, three in a sequence. We have a potential chow here and here, and you always have to have a pair. So we would have one, two, three potential chows and a pair. We still need to come up with another one. So I think I would try for a flush. If we didn't draw in the dots, maybe play all chow, which is only one fawn. So that's how I would play this one. Throw these away first. So now we'll do south round. This time, let's say I rolled a 10. So we're going to be in south seat again. South seat. One, two, we have two flowers. And if we're in the south seat, that's seat two, we actually have our own seat flower. So we'll get score for that, one fawn. So for this random pull, just checking to see if I have the right number of tiles, and I do, I think I would try for a half flush. Even though these are singles, we do have a potential pung, potential chow. This would be isolated, so we would need to pair up for sure or get some chow tiles. So I would try to draw in dots and honors and throw these away first. These are all isolated tiles. I think the chances of pairing these up and going for a half flush might be better than waiting for chow tiles to draw in these isolated tiles. If we're seat two and it's south round, let's see, these two for sure can bring score. These two, not so much. So we might be able to throw those away too, unless we pair them up. Anytime you get a pair, that would be a potential pung, three of a kind. West round. This time I rolled uh, an 11. Eight, nine, 10, 11 is west. So we're in west seat this time. Oh, 
Ooh, three flower. We got our own flower. So one fawn for our own flower. This will be a challenge because we've got a mixture. We only have two BAMs, but we do have four dots and five cracks. If it's west round and we're in west seat, neither of these are gonna bring us score. So I think I would try for all chow here. We have a potential chow. Here's a chow right there, one, two, three. These are isolated, so we would need to draw into those. This is a pair, you always gotta have a pair. And then we have a potential chow here as well. We need the tile in the middle, that's called a closed weight. That is weaker than this because here we have an, a side weight where we need a four crack or a seven crack. That is the best weight. So we could maybe draw in to improve that. I would definitely discard these first, the wins, and try for all chow with my flower. So that would be a two fawn hand. North round, west seat. One flower, not helpful. Okay, so for this set of tiles, I think I would try to pair up and play all Pung. We have a pair here and a pair here. That would be a long road to haul. But let's see here. The other thing we could maybe do is try for all honors. Discard this first. We have, look at all these ones and nines. The challenge is that these are all singles. We only have two pair. So I think I would start, oh yeah, this is a rough, rough start because here's a chow, but all these are isolated. And not only that, but they're edge tiles. I think I would try for an honor hand, maybe even 13 orphans. 13 orphans is one in nine of each suit, which we almost have. All we need is a one crack. And then you need one of each wind and one of each dragon. If you never try it, you'll never win it. 13 orphans or another honor hand, maybe all pung if we can pair up. So I would throw these away first. I hope that gave you a good idea of what it's like to play Hong Kong Mahjong. As I said, it's pretty easy, four sets and a pair. The sets can be three in a sequence or three of a kind. And then of course, four of a kind because there are four of everything. If you wanna know more, watch the playlist and download that player reference so you can learn how to play. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.